What's up guys? We're gonna do a little health and nutrition Q&A. Haven't done this in a while, so if you guys did miss it, just uh, leave your question in the comments below and I'll, I'll try to get to it, but we'll jump right in. So Herm asks, one serving of the organ glandular powders is the equivalent efficacy wise to roughly blank percent of taking the raw organ. Uh, when you freeze dry something, it's between like 25 and 35% of the weight of the product. So if you're taking like a four gram scoop of our glandulars we have on organ supplements, that's the equivalent of like maybe 20 grams of the actual organ. So uh, that, that could help you out on ratios there. But generally speaking, if you're taking it every day, that one small scoop is a pretty safe bet. Sparrow asks, any tips for sourcing unique raw organs in countries like New Zealand? I've looked at virtually, I mean, Unless you're going to like a local butcher and getting the glands yourself, your best bet might honestly be to buy like a lamb or a goat and, and do it yourself. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with the freeze dried powder. So no reason to get crazy with the fresh stuff. Taking probiotic source before meal and digestive enzymes after meal, beneficial or meaningless? You probably just take both at the beginning and, and try to get the correct dose so that your bowel movements are adequately sized and you're not too constipated because if you take too many probiotics and too much enzymes, it'll actually just slow down your gut motility and you won't feel as good. Uh, George asks, can women absorb nutrients vaginally? Is it possible that some women seek out multiple men because they're mal <laughs> My experience with vegan girlfriends suggests this might be true. Also, is it possible for a man to detox via semen release? Oh, God help me. Uh, well, we did a video on this, how uh, a woman does absorb a man's DNA and can become attracted to them via that. Uh, nutritionally, I would imagine, I mean, I guess if they're doing it every day, I, I think it does make a difference. The, uh, there is some truth to that question. Uh, I'm sure women do absorb it inside them to some degree. More, more so, obviously, if they're swallowing it, but uh, I can't imagine it would make that much of a difference unless they were vegan, as you said. Uh, but that that is true, right? I guess if some of these vegan chicks are, are down, in, uh, down in some baby batter every day, maybe they can't actually call themselves vegan. Sarah asks, will you start drinking water kefir again, or will you stick to only probiotic supplements? I, I, I just got to get the, the batch correct, and I'll, I'll try the water kefir some more, but... Uh, this natural probiotic that we recently came out with has been working very well. I'm happy to say that I can just take the pill before the meal and then everything digests well and I feel good. With those new probiotics you have that I just bought, once I have them at home, can I leave them in room temperature cabinet with my other supplements I take at breakfast or do I need to always keep them in the fridge? I mean, if it doesn't go above like 75 degrees in your kitchen, you're probably fine, but you, you might as well leave them in the fridge. Like that's that's the safest bet. Sparrow asks, if I order the probiotic overseas, might it possibly be less effective? Ideally, selecting the fastest express option. Some strains are more robust and resilient than others and could survive longer transit time. Could one take a higher dose to make up for the... I mean, it's there's no telling whether the probiotic is going to be fine and the weather is going to be okay. Or if it ends up on like a 120 degree cargo container and it destroys it. I, I can't say that for certain. I don't know. There's no way to know that. If it's on the airplane and it's air freight and you bought Express, there's a much lower chance of that happening. Uh, Mrs. Wonderland, I've been drinking homemade raw kefir daily for the last two months. I took a stool test and my lactobacillus are still non-existent. Why is that? And what other kefir would you suggest to increase lactobacillus in the gut mix? I mean, I would imagine you're not making your your uh, kefir properly if if your lactobacillus isn't high and if you're I mean if you're not feeling good after the first few times drinking it the probiotics not working we have the new probiotic on organ supplements that you can try out uh, I, I would get a new batch of kefir grains and try that out I would try some raw yogurt as well uh, because the lactobacillus strains should certainly be high if you're drinking that much kefir Seminole you've said in the past that sweating a lot while being out in the sun tanning is bad why is it so uh, I don't know if I've said it's bad, but if you're outside and it's really hot and you're sweating your guts out, you're not going to be able to stay outside for that long and tan. If you want to tan for like three, four, five, six hours outside every day, 
it's gonna probably be below like 70 degrees Fahrenheit and a nice breeze out. Otherwise, it's just gonna be too hot. You know, you're, you're dehydrating yourself. You're not gonna feel good. Clutch Spartan, is it okay to take higher quality fish oil and omega-3 to get? I'm not a fan of any fish oil or supplements really. I mean, we have the cod liver oil, but that's like a fresh natural extract. Uh, the rest of these fish oil supplements, they actually have to like heat and press and filter. It's 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 pretty processed. So just just get some caviar. That's why I sell it as like the only fish product we have on the meat website. Caviar is your safest bet for omega three. We have the brain options too now. We have the lamb brains. We have the veal brains. You can even get like the third eye and the big brain supplements on organ supplements if you want some omega three. Joseph, what would be the best way to reduce facial bloat as much as possible? Obviously, bone structure is most important for a chiseled face, but do foods electrolytes make a big difference? Your diet has to be really clean, uh, and you have to sleep pretty well and be in a low radiation environment. So if you have all the lifestyle factors in check, generally speaking, your face will not be bloated, and it shouldn't take too long to get there. You know, go, If you guys watch my day of eating, you know, going organic, going high quality, making sure to move and exercise, it's, it's really about getting every lifestyle factor in check, which is easier said than done. And I'm not gonna explain everything here, but that could be from, you know, making sure you have a filtered water supply, not taking any medications. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that. IO9062 asks, thoughts on deer antler velvet? There's a lot of these like testosterone supplements, but when you have actual freeze-dried beef testicle, there, there's no reason, you're, you're getting the actual natural testosterone extract when you take these glandulars or when you eat animal testicles. So to even consider anything else to me just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, same person asks, is the glandular therapy used to keep hormone production due to lack of fat on the detox diet? It's lack of organ function on the detox diet. So, you know, when your liver's not working properly, when you don't feel good, when you're not sleeping as well as you should, your testosterone is going to be bad. So that's why someone like me might have to take the glandulars almost every day, whereas the average person maybe only once or twice a week. It's it's more to give the body a boost. You're, you're not only giving yourself the small amount of bioactive hormones to feel better, you're giving your body the cellular components to bring to your own organs so that you can produce the testosterone more effectively. But again, if your liver's not working, if you're in a very poor health state, your body can't utilize those as well, and you might need to take more of it. I know the male virility powder would improve a man's hormones. Would consuming female beef placenta ovaries be beneficial for a man's hormones? With all the estrogen now, I can't imagine I would, maybe if you took it once a month, once every few months, it's probably not the worst idea, but I mean, it's, it's, it's concentrated estrogen. I, I can't imagine a, a guy would need that. Aiden Shea, can you talk about why you're okay with taking synthetic supplements? I'm not sure if you've covered this in another video, but I've always been curious. So when you consume a food that's supposedly high in a mineral, like I think a well-known one is Brazil nuts for selenium, the mineral in the food is not necessarily being digested by your stomach because of what it's bound to. So there's that the overarching like big problem that you're probably not even digesting the food for the minerals because you could eat all the steak you want. Like I was carnivore for eight years and I was still deficient in zinc. So your body might not be in a state of health where it can use all its enzymes and the liver and the pancreas and the small intestine might not be able to actually extract the minerals from the food. So if you can't even extract the minerals from the food source, your only option is to take a, a synthetic supplement. And with most supplements on the market, yeah, it's kind of sketchy because the, the doses are erratic and they're not actually what you would get from food, but I've formulated all the minerals on organ supplements to be the correct dose from food. And when you take it, you know, it's what you're getting. Plus the downsides of trying to eat such a large amount of food to get a mineral are probably greater than the downsides of any sort of synthetic supplement. So to make that argument is just, it doesn't make any sense. Joseph, what would be the best way to reduce... Oh, uh, wait, we're on the same page. Lumbago, what do you think it was to make your liver bad when you had to start thinking about eating in a way that detoxes your liver over time? It would be nice to know so we can make sure not to face the same trouble. The body requires like a balanced amount of macronutrients 
and micronutrients. And if you're only eating micronutrients on like a carnivore or keto diet, your liver basically gets overloaded with vitamins. Same thing with the other, all the organs get overloaded with vitamins and you could have years and years worth of vitamin stores that your body can't remove. And the body uses carbohydrates, fiber, and sometimes sugars to remove it. So you've basically consumed too many nutrients for a long period of time and you have to give the body a break. That's why my current diet is actually pretty low in meat, pretty low in animal foods. These, uh, these eye drops I've been using, I'm making my nose drip, probably need to, need to find something else. What's the quickest way to rid the body of seed oils? I mean, this applies to just being on a standard American diet or eating crappy food in general. You just need to follow a healthy, organic, high quality food diet for a period of several months. It's more of, it's more of a long-term thing. And then if you cheat once in a while, it's not as big of a deal, but you know, the only, you know, you are what you eat. So it's going to take X period of time of eating high quality foods to get your body healthy. Just like a few months of it should make you feel a lot better. Can you ship the probiotic internationally with cold shipping? Yeah, but uh, it should be fine. It's just going to be expensive. So you probably, if you're not ordering like five, six, seven of them, it's not really worth it. I know you've made a lot of special products on all your sites, Wi-Fi shielding, organ supplements, foods, meats, but if you can only sell one product and everything else on your inventory had to go, which would be, I mean, that's a, that's a kind of, that's a kind of crazy question. Uh, but I guess at the top of the list, you know, like the probiotic we just came out with on organ supplements is very important. Uh, the clothing on Wi-Fi shielding, I'm always wearing that guys is very important. Generally, it'd probably be something that I know that people can't get somewhere else, but I can't really answer that question because I do have a lot of unique products that, you know, are not available on any other website or whatever. Highly strange. What are your thoughts on lead in food? There's a lot of researchers, more or less people on Instagram who test food items for lead. And I was curious, is there really anything to worry about? I haven't looked too much into that. Uh, we did look into like arsenic in rice. So you guys don't see me eat a crazy amount of rice. But uh, for the, as far as I know, the foods that I choose and in my liver detox diet, uh, they don't have any lead concerns. I might have to look into that and check into that though. Uh, Isaac, do you think you'll ever bring back nature's glucose? I actually think about that almost every week. Maybe it's, it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard because you'd have, I'd have to buy like a large amount of honey and, and I don't have the, I don't have that filtering net anymore, but I don't know. I, I like to bring it back. I'd like to do it. Um, maybe we can. Epic Nate, I've been having issues with dry itchy scalp for months, tried all these different shampoos nothing works. I mean, you can follow my liver detox diet, get your gut bacteria and check with the natural probiotic, try that for a month or two. A, a lot of these health issues, sometimes it, it tends to take like an entire dietary overhaul to, to fix the issue, remove the inflammation. I am you. What is bioengineered food and how does it affect us long term? I don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about. If you mean like uh, the laboratory meats and stuff, you can just look at what goes into them and then you'll know the downsides of each of those ingredients. Just generally really bad for cellular health. A lot of them tend to use like oxidized seed oils, a lot of synthetic chemicals and flavorings that are bad for the liver, uh, a lot of like estrogenic tofu and very oxidized low quality proteins that are just very, just stuff that's very bad for your cellular health. The main downside of any laboratory food is, you know, what we said earlier, the you are what you eat thing, except these laboratory foods tend to choose the worst component. At least like if, if you're having French fries at a restaurant, like the potatoes aren't that bad, it's the seed oil. So you're just getting one thing that's kind of bad. In the case of these bioengineered foods, everything's bad. Every macronutrient component and chemical component is about as bad as it can be for you. Uh, Karar. I am 16, I have a regular periods. My last period was a few months ago. I don't take any medication, my diet isn't so bad. I don't do any strenuous exercise. I lose a lot of weight a year ago, but haven't since then. What factors could cause this? When we do like these day of eating reviews, uh, and and you guys can see in my, my what I eat in the days, 
the diet should be composed mostly of animal nutrition, red meat, basically, and carbohydrates, starch with some fiber and maybe some fruits and stuff here and there to enjoy yourself. So my first bet would be the caloric density of your diet is inadequate. You could have some nutrient imbalances. You probably need to be wearing Wi-Fi shielding clothing if you're not. So th there's a few things to get started on if, if you haven't looked into those yet. Thomas, what do you think about carnivore keto diet and these two can improve hair health? Uh, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you just want to increase the protein and collagen content of your diet and make sure you're not deficient in any minerals. And, uh, and, and that, that should be all you really need. A lot of the time, you know, a carnivore keto diet, I mean, we've done a lot of videos on how they're bad for you, how they're bad for liver health. And what we said earlier, you might not be necessarily absorbing the nutrients from these diets. So someone that's eating like organic bread like me all day, but taking the correct vitamins and mineral supplements and having some bone broth every meal is going to actually have much better hair health and overall tissue health than someone on a carnivore keto diet. Iodell, what other starch grains, tubers, or fruits do you think are good staple foods besides the ones you usually eat? <laughs> I mean, there's a reason I, I kind of only eat these. There's probably a few others here and there that kind of are acceptable, but it, it's pretty limited. Uh, it's, it's pretty limited. Maybe I could do a separate video on that, but you know, there's a reason I'm only eating like weed and rice, maybe sometimes quinoa, maybe sometimes potatoes, but the foods that I've landed on are the ones I felt best eating. I'm a little worried it's too dark in here now because the sun kind of went out. Yeah, I hope my camera isn't, uh... I hope the camera's okay because I'm definitely not filming this again. Do you think someone could follow a vegan diet and stay healthy? If you do, what supplements would they need? And what are the realistic least inflammatory sources of vegan protein? If you took my current diet and just omitted the animal products, that would be as healthy as you could get as a vegan, but you would just get really protein and amino acid deficient super fast. Uh, it would basically be a diet that's, um, what was the, do was it Dr. McDougal that did the high starch stuff? The high starch vegan diet is probably the healthiest. And then if you had a saturated fat like coconut oil, you might be okay uh, because the vegetables and really colorful fruits and tofu and soy proteins, a lot of the stuff these vegans eat are just a net negative to your health. So literally by only eating a loaf of bread is the healthiest vegan diet you could get. But um, if you were taking like, if you were taking like supplements, like B vitamins and stuff, you might last a little longer, but I don't think those are technically vegan, even though they think they are. Uh, Jess, if I order the probiotic supplement to Australia and it takes one to two weeks, do you think it would still remain decent? Can I take higher doses? Look, you guys that want the probiotic internationally, I don't really know. It's, is that rain too loud? All types of action today. Windy, it's rainy. I think it's rained every other day here in Pennsylvania. Uh, you've talked about the needs of soluble fiber, but what about insoluble fiber? Any benefits or issues? Uh, I, I'm not sure if the gut bacteria eats that off the top of my head. Some strains probably do, but uh, the main role of insoluble fiber is keeping the gut motility high because you don't want, if food is stuck in your stomach, that means that stuff isn't moving, which means that you're not detoxing as efficiently as, efficiently as you should. So you want to keep the, the caloric density in the diet high, but also be mindful of, you know, is that food like physically dense? Like, is there some bulk? Is there like, that's why I have apples with every meal. That's why I try to have some beans and some fiber, because if you're only eating like bread and meat, if you were healthy, that might be okay. But if you're not healthy, there's not going to be enough motility to, to really efficiently detox. You're just going to, because the liver is releasing toxins in every meal. And if the food gets stuck and just sits there for a while and you're constipated, the toxins are going to get reabsorbed instead of being expelled from the body. Uh, on, yo, I'm, I'm, when I hadn't said someone's name, 
it's because I think half of these questions are from the same two people. <laughs> Whatever. We didn't get that many questions, so I'll just try to answer all of them. I'm curious about your thoughts on supplements like essential amino acids, EAAs, quercetin, bromelain, and antioxidants, especially for people with MCAS. I'm not a fan of any of these things. Um, I do have, like, like, instead, like bromelain, like we had a macronutrient enzyme supplement that we sold, which is the, the more effective thing. Uh, like you mentioned antioxidants. Well, if all your B vitamins are in check and you have enough soluble fiber in the diet to detox the liver, that's going to give you the best antioxidant capacity, you know, having your gut bacteria in check. So the, basically all the products I sell and, and things I do in my day of eating are, are the most effective versions of what you need for the body instead of these supplements. Oh God, do I even want to read this with how it starts? I have a petite Korean girlfriend. Should she be... <laughs> Should she be eating any different than me, a tall Northwest European <laughs> Oxford study? Besides the volume, of course. Do you think that different ethnicities may benefit from eating different in some ways? Not really, because the traditional diet of any group of people that's healthy is, you know, they have a grain that they cultivate and they have some high quality animal foods that they cultivate. As long as the base of the diet is starch and meat, then you're getting the caloric and, and micronutrient nutrition that your body needs. Ideally, should you not go over more than two servings for the liver detox smoothie just because of the sugar content? It, it depends on it depends on how you feel. Like, if you can, if you feel okay, if you're not getting digestive issues, if you're sleeping okay, then you could use whatever you want. But that's very very subjective for that. Uh, Ali, I get insomnia if I don't eat enough calories. However, I need to lose weight. Is it better to not get sleep and eat less? I eat as you do, super nutrient dense. Thanks. If your diet is the same as mine and you're eating only high quality organic foods and you're using like Wi Fi radiation shielding clothes, that could be a big thing that people miss for weight loss. Guys, let me blow my nose real quick because it's dripping. If you're actually following my diet and you're wearing Wi-Fi radiation clothing and you're reasonably active, I can't imagine your body composition is is going to be like not in a good state. Like I would imagine your weight is going to regulate and you're going to look better over the course of at least a few months. So it shouldn't be necessary to restrict calories if you're doing everything correctly. The worst case scenario is you might have to just do a little bit of resistance training and build up some lean body mass. All right, we still got a little bit, so I'm going to try to speed it up. Kira, how can I fix dehydrated skin on the face without using topical skin care products? I think we answered a question about the rosacea and stuff earlier, how you have to do the whole lifestyle change, so just refer to that. Clutch Spartan, what does a fridge water filter lack compared to a five-stage osmosis system? I, I, I would just watch my videos on water. Personally, I only drink glass bottle mineral water because there, there's a lot that goes into it. I think filtered water might be okay for bathing and stuff and washing stuff, but I still wouldn't drink it if it's not from a good source. Glizzy, hey, I'm a triplet too. What is the best nutritional advice to gain healthy weight? If you guys watch my day of eatings, it's basically that, but maybe you might need some uh, some more fat and some more animal protein. Eric is spice addict asks, can you speak about MSG on the negative aspects of it, please? I haven't researched that off the top of my head. Uh, there's no reason to have it or put it in the food. I would imagine out of the negative things that you can consume, it's, it's probably not as bad as certain things, but the, the problem is, generally speaking, if you're eating foods that contain MSG, there's probably like a dozen other things in that typically Chinese food that you're not gonna want in your body. Alex, how bad is it to have a sugar-free drink versus downing a 5,000 to 1,000 calorie dessert? Uh, that's a strange comparison. I would I would guess you'd compare like a sugar-free drink to a full sugar drink. And for me, I would rather have a Coca-Cola that has sugar in it as opposed to any of these chemicals. Um, but then when you get into dessert, you're like, okay, what's in the dessert? What are the ingredients? That's kind of like a, it's, it's too different of a comparison. You have, you'd have to specifically know what was in it. Because something like a uh, croissant uh, is just butter and flour, and that's actually pretty healthy. Something like a New York style cheesecake with eggs and butter and cream cheese might not be that bad. So it really, it's really subjective there. Hi there. 
How to heal from protracted psychiatric drug withdrawal. Fatigue and many other symptoms can last for years after completely quitting these drugs. If everything's in check, like, you should be fine. Like, I've been using this Kratom stuff on and off, and I definitely noticed some physical reactions to it, but if your vitamin C is adequate, if you're getting B vitamins, if your gut health is good, if you're eating healthy, if you're sleeping, if you get, if you're exercising, if every single lifestyle factor is in check, the reaction you get to drugs should be minimal. You should be fine. But getting those things in check usually is, is where people struggle. And it could also be the, the Wi-Fi radiation thing, uh, which I won't get too much into today. But hypothetically on paper, if everything's in check, you should be fine. Can removing only upper wisdom teeth lead to structural changes in the face? Yeah, we did a few videos on that. Uh, if, if you want to like search Frank to find wisdom teeth, you, you don't really want to remove any teeth. Uh, what causes the white spots on nails? I've been getting a lot of them. I haven't bumped my nails or anything. It's usually mineral deficiency. Like ever since I started my copper toxicity stuff, I haven't had any white on my nails ever. So it, probably zinc deficiency, probably. How someone can know their body daily basic protein amino acid needs without overeating or undereating. If you have high quality foods and you're going organic and you, you make like your protein, your carbs, your starch, and you have all the food in front of you, you just eat as much as your body craves. And then you stop based on your natural, natural hunger signals. What can one do if they find, if they found out they have arthritis in one of their knees? I mean, I'll sum this up quickly again. You know, you have to have the diet completely in check. That means going organic, your gut bacteria, you wanna be wearing Wi-Fi shielding clothing, you wanna be eating properly, you might have some nutritional deficiencies. Uh, taking vitamin C, increasing the collagen content of the diet. It could be some minerals too, vitamin K2, magnesium for arthritis, it's hard to say. Bobby asks, how to balance female hormones, especially when it comes to uterine fibroids and polyps and painful periods. Also hormones play a role in spider veins. Like, I don't, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but, uh, you know, you, you have to address the diet, address the mineral and vitamin imbalances, and then maybe there's some supplements here and there that you could take that'll help. But, uh, like, the, the simplest way to put it is, like, if you guys see my day videos and eat the exact same stuff, that's not a bad starting point. What are two breakfast meals that are nutritionally the best for the average person with no health issues? You can have like a starch, a sweet, like pancakes with protein. What, we're, what we've been saying in this whole video, like starch and meat. Is pasture-raised goat milk okay? I mean, we, we have a lot of videos on dairy. There's there's certain things that, and, and certain, like the we talked about the nutrient excess stuff earlier, having too many nutrients in the liver where maybe you don't want to have dairy in your diet. Uh, but... If you're going to be having those dairy products, usually yogurt or kefir are going to give you a lot more overall health benefits. What's a fast way to get rid of a short bout of ongoing diarrhea, food poisoning, stomach flu? You might need some mastic gum if, if there's a lot of dysbiosis, but if you just get like the healthy balanced meal in, like that has a nice ratio of meat to fat to carbs and everything with some fiber in there and you have a probiotic, it should be fixed pretty fast. Thoughts on using SARMs alternative to surgery for reducing gynecomastia? I don't know. I've never researched that. I'm not really nutrition advice. I'm 5'4", 19-year-old male. Is there any way for myself to grow? I think I stunted my growth following a vegan diet at age 16 and starving myself. My dad is 5'8". Yeah, I don't... I think once the growth plate's closed, you might be screwed. Like, you can't really do much for height. If you've improved your diet and you're eating more animal protein and you're getting vitamin D and you're not deficient in anything, 19 might be a little too late. Why is coffee on an empty stomach unhealthy? I think I think it's more coffee in general is not the best thing. If you're going like the highest quality organic, there's still some downsides to the caffeine and stuff. Thoughts on Dr. McDougal diet. Could he have lived healthier if he ate more meat? Yeah, he, he passed away recently. I didn't really talk about it. And I mentioned him earlier, I'm pretty sure he's the, the starch diet. So, I mean, even if you're following the ideal vegan diet, you're still going to become incredibly deficient in, in all the animal-based B vitamins, amino acids. 
like a lot of the quality saturated fat and cholesterol and stuff you need for cellular health that the body can't synthesize on its own. Yeah, my eyes have been really bothering me these past few days, but uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you'd like to support me and find out about some of the things we mentioned in this video, if you go to frank you'll see Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. And uh, as always, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.